everybody, it is Michael Real here with another video. Now, in my last video, um, I got that Ford Raptor, okay? I took it on to land a test drive on pavement, obviously, and on Isaac's old driveway where he used to live, um, on that driveway, because he was, like, really bad, so, yeah. But I did do that. But now I want to take it actually more off-road. Maybe a little rock crawling. But I don't think it can do rock crawling. Just because it's not really, uh... Got that lifted, uh... It's not that lifted. And also, I'm trying to get in here, which I can't. And it's going to make me mad because I'm in the Blue Hulk, which I was feeling like was going to be a mistake. Because the Blue Hulk's nice. But it's also kind of not because it's so big. It's kind of hard to make it into tight places. And the flip is Huey. It's right here pretty much. It's really hard to make this turn. Especially with the trailer on the back. Okay, finally. Jeez, guys. Fuck. That, that really pissed me off. Because, yeah, it, it, it gets really annoying with the Blue Hulk a lot because... Of how big it is. And then you add a trailer on it. It's like driving a semi. That's actually why I don't have actually been driving the Blue Hulk as much. Because it kind of gets annoying sometimes. You know. So it's like. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so. But I do have the full draft on the trailer on the back. Just going to pull off over here. going to unload that. And. And we're going to go take it on a little bit of off-roads and stuff like that. So, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. See, I got all that done. Got the Blue Hulk right there. And I'm going to get this wrapped on hooked and we're going to do that. So, yeah, guys, see you after I get the truck off the trailer. Okay, guys, so I got the... Thing off the trailer now so that's good I think but um yeah so now we are gonna go take it a little bit off-roading now if you watch my 4th of July camping I was over here this is where actually the place I went camping on 4th of July with M Michael it's just cuz I like coming out here they got some good places out here to camp they got some good uh, trails to go on and this is the trail I always go on so you know now before we go on the trail I'm gonna get out though kind of check the truck a little bit make sure it everything's good before I take it on the trail so oh yeah it looks good though just making sure nothing's wrong with it really because I don't really want to get on a trail because people have and it they usually it's kind of hard to get out of there if you get stuck or you break down. And I'm on a fall, you know, found on road dead, so. Now, I'm not somebody that really hates falls, but it is a thing people made up because found on road dead. And th they are talking a normal road. This is a fall found on road dead, and I'm taking it on a trail. that it kind of gets difficult to drive in it was that fall drop right there kind of got some air oh yeah got that big log heel this truck is kind of hard to control a little bit but it's actually not that bad actually for what it is it's actually pretty nice it's actually kind of nice to control too on some of these bumps, you just can't control it, you know, because it makes sense. You just there, I think, and had two tires touching the ground because I hit that in a bad way, too. So it's like, like, you know, the guy was telling me it's supposed to drive nice, and it does. It just can't hand, like, and it's not supposed to be bouncing, like, right here. It's not completely just going all over the place, but there's a little bounce. It's not like they can make a truck that's not going to bounce at all, but they can do pretty close to that. 
But look on some of these rocks, it's gonna bounce because these are huge rocks and we might have it stuck. See, I was having a feeling that it might not be able to rock crawl because it's not really... It doesn't have the suspension right now to rock crawl. You know, so... And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to test it out, see what I could maybe do to get it better. Which I think that's what I'm the main thing I need is just to get a big ol' sus, big ol' suspension, better suspension, so it's not it can go over maybe a little bit, go tiles. I think I got hung up now. Yeah, I'm stuck, guys. There we go. I'm back up. I'm trying to keep going because I'm trying to see how far I can make it, but I might stop now because I can't. I'm kind of stuck right here in this area because I can't get over these rocks. Okay, let's throw it in low. Okay, let's see if I can. It's in low. There we go. There we go. Cause it has. It can go off road. It's a. It's got four wheel drive. And it's also got low. We got low gear. I put on low gear. So there we go. We might not have to get a thing, but I still think I might just because it would be better on huge, bigger rocks. Turn on hit that tree. Oh, might just make it. Almost hit those. I'm trying to stay on the trail. This is where it gets difficult. Sometimes I skip the trail because of how they got this trail set up. Now you gotta go through these few of these trees, the fence. So it's kind of hard. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. May scrape it a little bit, but I'm planning on it. And now I own it, but I was planning on getting it a little scraped up. Okay, now this, you could enter from this side too, guys. Now we're going to go down rocks. Some people go up the rocks, some people don't. I'm going down these rocks, so. A little easier, I guess, because you are trying to walk your way up. But you could still get stuck, obviously. It's kind of scary, though, I think, because you're heading downhill. I might have got stuck out now, guys. Okay, I gotta... Gotta drop. Whoa, yeah. I know stick guys. Okay, we're gonna have to try to get this out. I, like, being honest, a tow truck probably could... There we go. Okay. So we didn't do it that bad. Okay, now, this is a part where it gets kind of bad. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, get out. Get out here. <laughs> because this bridge, there's another bridge, but it's just about the same. Like, the water kind of comes up. Wait, I gotta... Now, that's the main thing about getting some, uh... More suspension on it. Maybe big old wheels, too. It's just to make sure I can go through water. Like, eat, because sometimes this happens on roads, and if I'm going to use it as off-road, but I think I'm going to be good. The water's not too deep, so I think I'll be good, but... Well, it does not like that, but a lot of vehicles don't like this, because it's literally a kind of sketchy, scary bridge. We made it now. Hey, they'll charge through the water, which I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try to stay on the side. Whoa, jeez, I almost slid in there. Oh, crap, that, whoa. Oh. Okay, I got to get out. Okay, hey. That was kind of sketchy there for a second. Now we're on private property because that's what happens. 
kind of stupid how well this trail ends, but I'm guessing he has a lot of people that come on in his property because of where it ends, so. Now, I I don't like, obviously, to really trespass, so I'm going to try to get out of here. They should have the trail in somewhere else, and it's not like it's a personal trail. It's just that's where it ends, and it's kind of stupid. Even if it ended here, it should have end, had a, oh, a little path to just get right off the property or something. So. But I'm off of it now. I'm a little okay. It's okay now. I just don't like trespassing. So, and I could go back the other way, but saying that it couldn't handle some of those rocks, but af until I put it in low gear, you know, and some of those rocks going back up might be a little difficult. So I might not try that yet. I might later. Obviously, but I might actually just go get the suspension a little bit better, like a better suspension pack, um, and then probably bigger tires, a little bigger tires, and I think I'll do it, come back out here, and try it from the other side going up, and two, like, then I can probably even cross the river, which that's what I kind of want to see, because sometimes, um... You kind of need to cross a river or something, because sometimes on places you go, you never know sometimes, and sometimes, you know, sometimes the water, it's okay, because it's really shallow, but sometimes it's not, and you don't want to go and flood your vehicle, because you uh, went way too deep down, you know, so I think if I add in bigger tiles, it would just be a little better, now another thing I wanted to try out, because you guys know I come to the cave a lot that's out here, so I'm going to go to the cave, that I go through the cave you can drive in, and I'm going to go over here now, and see if that thing can do good, and it's doing pretty good on this road here, just because this road's pretty uh, bad, you know, for bumps and stuff. So, but I am going to go out to the cave because I, I do like to come out to this cave they got out here just because it's a nice cave, I think, and, you know, it's a nice place to test vehicles, plus I just like going in the cave, you know, it's kind of fun. You just got to have the right vehicle. And this thing has a light, pretty nice light setup. So I think. I think it'll. We'll do good. Because of the light setup. So. Here we go at the cave. Now before we head in here. Turn on these lights. Oh okay. Yeah so we're going to head in. Doesn't look like there's actually any damage. From the rock crawling. There might be a little dent maybe. Or something else. Great but. Nothing too, uh, noticeable. Okay, so, heading through here. See, though, this is kind of sketchy, I feel, like, to drive. You have to kind of take it slow. You don't want to go too fast because of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I might have got screwed, guys. Actually, back up. Trying to get back on the road. The path they got through here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's get out. Now that was scary and sketchy and all. Gosh. Because I fell in there. Now, I'm glad there was these two little rocks back here. Because I could, like, kind of go back and get the center show. I'm glad about that. But that's what I'm talking about, because you can go, you, that won't happen if you kind of keep it a slow speed, even at slow speed, so it can still happen, because of how bumpy it is in here, even with a good truck that kind of likes to, but if you go too fast, and I was going a little too fast, and I admit that, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, we're coming back out, can turn off the lights. I'm gonna scrape that. 
Okay, good. And we came back out in town. That rain, good. We got out of the cave before it rained, though, so. Was that good or bad? Actually, it's kind of good, because as you could see, there was water in there, which sometimes if it does rain, and it hasn't actually been raining that much lately, as you guys might know, it's just been getting dark and about to rain, but it does actually rain. But when it rains, I do know in that cave, it's really bad when it rains in that cave, because that water that you see, it's already really high. Sometimes it floods the road in that cave. So it's actually good that I got out there, just in case, you know. And see, this is fault. It hasn't broke down yet, you know, found on road dead. It hasn't broke down yet. And that's just the thing. They sometimes don't do the hat. It's just a fault. I know people, like, sometimes, yeah, they do, but a lot of trucks do that. See, it didn't rain, so just got dark, kind of thundered a little bit. But, like, and, well, because, like, think about it, GMCs, you know, Chevrolet, or Chevys, like, they get, uh, they break down, too. Okay, every truck can break down. It's just fault. They just got some bad, uh, they got a bad name because they got fault found on road dead, so. You can technically find any vehicle found on road dead, so. But that's going to be the end of the video for today, though. I just wanted to kind of test it out, kind of see how it could do off-road, which it actually did pretty good. I do want to, again, get a bigger lift on it, maybe some bigger tires, just because then it can even probably do rock crawling a little better. So, but we came back now, so I'm going to probably, I might go around one more time, but yeah. But that's going to be the end of the video though for today. If you liked it, tell me by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button too. It doesn't cost anything. And see you guys in the next one.